What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys and welcome to day two with the Ikoria Demir flash deck. This deck is really, really sweet. Uh, if you already, uh, or if you didn't already check out the previous two videos, uh, we actually did a version of this deck before Ikoria dropped and then we also reconvened it and kind of restructured it and then played it again yesterday with new cards from Ikoria, which turned out to be really, really sweet. We've had amazing luck with this deck. Uh, so far, not a single loss, which is pretty crazy, uh, especially considering my play skills. So really, really sweet time. We're going to jump in and do three more games with this guy. This thing is amazing, though, seriously. I, If you're not, uh, or if you have not been playing standard, I highly suggest kind of starting with a deck like this. Uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility, which is really, really nice. Uh, obviously, the entire deck has instant speed flash, you know, you play it on your opponent's turn, you really don't play almost ever on your turn, uh, with a few exceptions, of course. So it's a really, really strong deck. This is a decent hand. We've got a lot of two drops. Uh, obviously hoping to get a few lands to get to the Great Shark, but this is definitely worth a keep. Uh, and so we will go with it. <clears throat> Also, there was a situation that came up yesterday uh, where uh, I was... I'm going to put that on the bottom. Uh, I was trying to uh, mutate onto the Night Bonder. Someone very correctly pointed out it's a human. Uh, you cannot mutate onto a human, so that makes quite a lot of sense as to why that did not work. Uh, and so that was just a misplay on my end, uh, 100%. Uh, but thank you for pointing that out. I really do appreciate it. Here we're just going to quench. Uh, with the with two quenches in hand, I'm more apt to just kind of going with that. Uh, we also don't have a ton of removal until, well, we drew Tyrant Scorn, so unfortunately no land though, uh, which is obviously not good. <clears throat> so let's see what they've got. Looks like they're in a Mardu kind of, uh, potentially just uh, red-white, but... Uh, Interesting. Yeah, that's fine. They're just a cat deck. Let's play this out there now. Perfect. And that was the exact land we needed for the Slither Wisp. So here now we're just going to pass. We can actually play the Cutthroat along with the Quench thanks to this or Cutthroat plus Tyrant Scorn. There's a lot of options here. Uh, they did shock themselves. It looks like they are definitely Mardu. Uh, here we will absolutely Quench that. And go ahead and pass. Play the Cutthroat. <clears throat> now they are tapped out for this. Uh, so... With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and attack in with just this. Uh, yep. And I'll pass turn. So here, kind of looking to get the Slither Wisp down uh, as much as possible. We do have this if we would like to kind of go that route. So it, it really depends on what they do. Uh, we can try and commit to the board a little bit more with this. And then Tyrant Scorn, either the Twilight Panther or, you know, something along those lines. Um, yeah, I mean, it happens. I certainly can't do anything about it. Uh, well, I guess I could have Tyrant Scorned. That might have been the better option. That was probably a mistake. Um, yes, that was definitely a mistake. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's go ahead and get Slither Wisp down here. <clears throat> uh, that was a misplay. I absolutely should have just Tyrant Scorn that so it could not have mutated onto it, and then we wouldn't be dealing with this board. Uh, but I am going to pass here. Unfortunately, we're, we're missing land drops, and I think that misplay is a pretty big one here. Uh, this is a very sweet card, by the way. Necropanther, very, very cool. I absolutely love that card. <laughs> Uh, 
we do get to potentially kind of surprise block a little bit here. Uh, certainly depends on what they have in hand, but does give us a little bit of an option. Hmm. Do we even quench that is my thing. No, I think we just tyrant scorn that. <laughs> now my assumption is that this does not work now. So like the mutate doesn't happen and then we, this fizzles. That's my assumption. I'm still learning a lot about this set by the way. Um, if you have not already been able to tell. And now I'm actually a little bit glad that we did what we did. Uh, I mean, these are fine. These are three threes, but we'll, we'll eventually kind of outpace that. I'm more worried about, um, this little guy. Uh, not only does it lifelink, but it spits out one ones. Okay, so it just hits the battlefield. I see. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Um, still, I think, the right thing to avoid uh, getting hit with that. So. Here we get to ping for one and draw a card, as well as get this up a little bit further, which is awesome. Uh, man, still nothing. Okay. Well... I think we keep the pressure on here. Um, this does have lifelink, but I think it's okay to go ahead and swing in here. It's not like we're facing a ton of damage yet. Uh, I certainly could see a world where that, that gets out of hand very quickly, uh, but we're not there yet. So, uh, And we do have the second Slither Wisp. We're actually going to get to flash in here. Okay, that's very good. I'm going to let that resolve. I'm going to leave up the quench here just in case. <laughs> Ooh, and glad I did. And they really do have to be careful here. I mean, they can swing in with this, uh, but they, they do have to be very cautious of what they're swinging in with here. Uh, just because we've got quite a bit of damage on board. Land is helpful. Very, very helpful. Okay, so let's swing in with the 6 5. And we'll pass. This is hopefully going to be very, very good if they start playing out this guy. Do I counter that or do I counter this? I'm going to let that resolve. I don't care as much about that. Maybe that was incorrect. Man, I'm still learning quite a bit here. Uh... Not exactly sure how this interaction is going to go, so we are learning on the fly here. Okay, good. That did work. Now they only have one mana left, so it's not like they're going to be able to do a ton here. Uh, and we uh, we certainly locked down a good bit of their, their board here. Cool. All right, we got it. Uh, that was definitely a bit of a misplay on my end on a few places, but uh, that was a really cool matchup, actually. Uh, interesting. That that Mardu Cat deck is pretty cool. Uh, we're learning all kinds of new decks. I've got one in the works that I'm really excited about. Uh, have no idea if it's gonna be good, but uh, I am really interested to see how it goes. There's so many cool cards in this set that do like just really crazy things, in my opinion. There's a lot of really cool interactions that we get. Uh, so I'm excited to see how the meta game in standard shakes out uh, with all of this stuff up against the lion. Uh, let's see what they've got. Uh, but overall, this this list in particular, I think, is quite fun. 
Um, this is an amazing hand. I am going to keep it because it does have the opt. And that's good. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and lead on the island. I'll, I'll probably opt here. Um, okay. I'm guessing this is like an Is It Phoenix deck. Actually, don't. Uh, mm. I'm gonna keep that. That's a pretty good land to have. Um, gives us card draw and everything. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, let's play out that swamp, and we'll pass. We'll let that resolve. Let's go ahead and flash this out. Uh, here we will hopefully get to draw a card, which will be very nice. Oh, duh. Same interaction as before. Uh, it's a... It is a uh, human. We can't do that. Uh, I'm going to keep it slow. I'm going to potentially quench something here instead of playing this out. Also nice to get the temple down this turn, so that way we are mana-wise at least set up pretty well. Shock that, huh? I'm actually going to let that resolve. That's fine. <laughs> Get rid of that for sure. Okay, whenever you draw a card for the four, yeah, that's a it's a pretty good card. Um, let's get you out. And we'll pass. Unfortunately, we're getting a very land heavy draw here, uh, so we're not doing too much. Um, hopefully, we can avoid getting smacked down by the opponent here, but we'll see. Octopus out there. Unsummon. Really? I'm going to do this. Oh my gosh, another land. Wow. We are having bad luck on draws, guys. We have so many lands. Okay, they didn't do anything. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to pay two. Uh, did not have to do that, by the way. I want to get six mana out so we can flash this and leave up Sinister Sabotage. Do it again. I'm just going to play another one. If they want to shock it, that's fine. I'm going to dash onto it. Or excuse me, flash onto it. Uh, dash is a completely different mechanic. Let's draw a couple cards here. They, those are the cards we are looking for. Okay, let's pass. So here, it looks like they're a little bit out of gas. They just don't seem to have a whole lot going on. Um, I'm gonna let that resolve. That feels bad, because it is a two for one, uh, but it could be quite a bit worse, so. Uh, and we do have the Spectral Sailors. And this is great because we get to fizzle this. Um, there we go. Happy, happy. Okay, get land out there. Let's go ahead and swing in with everything. And we'll pass. Uh, so here we've got the soft counter with the quench and the hard counter with the sinister sabotage. Uh, I am going to hard counter that. 
Um, they're down to one card in hand. At this point, we literally just don't want them to have anything. I'm going to keep that on top. It's a pretty powerful card, and that way if they do stick a creature here, it's fine. Um, I'll quench this. If nothing else, just to get... I mean, they can pay, but it doesn't matter. Sweet! We got the second win. Guys, we are having incredible luck with this Demir deck. This is pretty insane. Okay, let's do one more game. Let's see if we can go undefeated with Demir Flash. That is pretty awesome if we can. Getting all the coins, all the experience. Love it. All right. One more game, guys. This deck is insane. Holy crap, it's so good. Uh, absolutely love this one. Okay. Last one. Feeling good. Uh, really excited to play some more decks. Uh, hopefully even today. We will see. This is a... If these were watery graves, I would be so much happier, but I do think we keep this. Uh, one more land, and we're in very good shape. Ooh, okay. Well, that's going to be a bit tough, I'm guessing. Uh, these aggro decks in particular, especially with a lot of flyers, can be very difficult. Uh, this is certainly going to be... Wow. Okay. Well, for sure they've got a strong hand. That's not very helpful. Okay. Of course, now we're not going to get any lands. That's just how it goes, right? Uh, here, I'm very, very fine with flashing in the Spectral Sailor just to deal with something here. Uh, in particular, I'm feeling the Healer's Hawk. Uh, despite them, these Loyal Pegasus dealing a lot more damage... Uh, these decks tend to run uh, a Johnny's Pride Mate, things like that, and I certainly don't want to be up against that when they are uh, gaining a bunch of life. So, another temple, wow. Uh, yes, keep that on top, absolutely. Now here we can flash... So before attacks, we can certainly uh, use the Petty Theft to bounce this, and then all of a sudden they can't attack. Uh, that is a possibility. And I think... Uh, actually, I'm just going to quench this. Um, that's a really good card to just be able to quench because it does take a lot of damage out of the equation. Um, here we get land. So here we can bounce and quench, which is a pretty good place to be. It depends very much on their land drops, of course. Uh, we may just have to Sinister Sabotage. We'll, we'll see. Cat Sovereign, huh? Hmm. I really hate taking so much damage from these Loyal Pegasus, but I don't think we can let that live either. I'm going to keep that land. Unfortunately, it is another temple, but we just, we really, really need to uh, keep our land drops flowing here. So let's do this. Scry. I'm actually going to keep the Brazen Borrower on top. Uh, that's a pretty solid one to have here. Uh, solely because these per in particular cannot attack or block alone. So it's like, it's kind of an easy end to just be able to do that. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to quench this. They can pay the two. That's fine. Uh, the important thing here is that they will not be able to play anything else. So now we have five. Okay. I kind of want them to attack in, so I can just Brazen Borrower. I'm going to throw that up. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to tempo them. Let's get this in, so that way we've got a little bit of life gain at least. And we'll pass. Okay. So now if we flash in these Brazen Borrowers, we not only draw a card, but the opponent loses a life. Excuse me, I said life game. We do not gain life there. Uh, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't do that. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Five, six, seven. I don't think... So we lose, right? So they just swing in with everything, and I think we lose. Um... Unless, well, 
I don't think that does it though. No, that doesn't. Hmm. This is such a strong card. I mean, we can block that. Interesting they only attacked with that, considering they knew we could only play a Brazen Borrower. What do we want here? Tyrant Scorn would be awesome, but I don't know that that really does it by itself, right? Oh, my goodness. Well. I mean, there's very little we can do here. Let's, uh, let's mutate this out. Um, if nothing else to draw a card here, uh, we'll go under. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can do it there. They've got too many things. Wow. Okay, so very, very nearly undefeated with this Demir Flash deck. Still a very good showing. I think that does go to, go to show the power level of this deck. It's a very well put together deck. Uh, in terms of, you, you kind of always have plays. Now, we did see it on that last game kind of suffer a little bit. We did keep a very rough hand with only two lands, and they were both Scry lands. Now, Scry lands are very good. Uh, they help you get to more lands, but in the early turns of the game, it is really tough when you are trying to flash stuff out very, very early, deal with the opponent's stuff, and you're not able to because they come to play tapped. So, unfortunately, that was just, you know, a suffering of the draw. Uh, that happens quite often, so you just have to be aware of that. Uh, and again, we did trim this deck down to 22 lands, not 24. Uh, so we are kind of running with a couple uh, a couple less than we normally would. Still, I do think it's a very good deck. I highly suggest checking it out. The deck list is in the description, so if you're interested in checking it out, you can certainly do so. Uh, and definitely have a fun time playing with Akoria. Uh, I'm very, very excited. I've got more decks coming out soon, so please stay tuned for those. If you're not already, subscribe, like, comment, do all the stuff. We really do appreciate any and all support. Uh, as well as pa checking out our Patreon, our Instagram, and of course our website, itresolvesmtg.com. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it, guys, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.